When, in the course of saucer events, it becomes necessary to... Go! Oh. To go. Go do it. I couldn't move. Episode 33, folks. Yes. And I will tell you, you know what baffles me? The, the way everyone reveres Julius Caesar. Are you, you know, even seeing how many saucers there are here? There's saucers and there's diamonds. I get it. I got it. <laughs> I understand you. There's nothing we can do. Oh. Oh, that's new. Yeah. It's stupid, but it's new. <laughs> At least they're innovating. Is that one of those things from the Matrix that starts to tear apart the ship? <laughs> yes. I choose That's to like believe the old it version. Is so. Yeah, it's, it's the steampunk version. Version 1.0. But yeah, Julius Caesar. They, he fought all these guys and conquered all these people, but they were all barbarians. I mean, he, he was a had the freaking Roman army behind him. Didn't, like, the Fighting Roman a... army got, like, uh, suffered defeat in detail, like, more than once at the hands of barbarian armies, like, in Germany. Well, like, in isolated incidents, yeah. But, like, on the whole, you know, the, uh, uh, the general who opposed Caesar during his conquest of Gaul, I forget his name, but he was quite certain that he could not win a pitched battle against Caesar. So, uh, he essentially just, uh, took up a policy of roaming around the countryside, uh, you know, destroying villages and stuff, and not engaging Caesar in battle. Yeah. And then Caesar finally caught up with him, like, took a town that he hadn't gotten to yet, and as soon as he had a fortified position, just annihilated him. Huh. Interesting. So, wait, are you saying that Julius Caesar wasn't as good as a good a general as we all say, just because he had a he, he well, had such not, an excellent not, apparatus to use? No, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, if you put it in perspective, compare him to someone like Napoleon, who was fighting an enemy force that at, at like, the same level of technology. Yeah. You know? No, everybody was using... Everybody had muskets. Everybody had, you know, supply lines and... and modern medicine and, and well, for the time, you know. Yeah. But, uh... In, in Caesar's day, you know, Caesar had all this great junk. He had, like, uh, this really disciplined army with these advanced weapons. And, uh, these, he was fighting, like, naked barbarians with <laughs> clubs and stuff. Oh my god. A bazooka. And half of, uh, of course, half of Caesar's army was barbarians. Yeah. And they were just dudes he picked up along the way. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I'm not a historian. Who am I to criticize Caesar? Hmm. I'll that's... tell you who. I'm the chosen one. That's right. I'm the one who's going to save Eagle Land from... <laughs> Gigas. Gigas. Gorgas. What? Burgers. Goon goon. the Star Trek music. <laughs> and then this other guy in River. <laughs> hey, River. No. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. Once again, inviting unfavorable comparisons. So many... Ugh. This is Just not gonna go great. Over with. We just need to get out of this area. So, yeah. uh, remind me where we're going, what we're doing. I don't know. We got to the other end of that godforsaken pyramid, and here we are. 
Oh, that's right. So we don't really know where we are right now. Yeah. We're in a new area. Okay. Some jerk-off, like, showed up and absconded with Rufio. That's right. We, we barely had him for one dungeon. And... Stop firing beams at me! Fire anything else! <laughs> just, just anything but that would be great. Ugh. Throw, pi throw pies at me. You know, those spherical iron pies fired from that <laughs> potassium nitrate powered pie launcher. <laughs> it's an oven that gets really hot really fast. <laughs> And when the pie is done, it's dejected. It's just like a toaster. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Talking about some dumb shit that happened before the show, people. Come to grips with it. They get it. You didn't have to tell them that. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. The joke, the joke stands on its own. Yeah. Quite unlike... I don't have... Hands. <laughs> I have two giant five legged spiders attached to the ends of my arms. You get your spiders off of my wife. Quite unlike <laughs> that joke. <laughs> oh god, I think Naomi's about to. Oh, okay. She has a power that can revive you. Oh, that's. Well, yeah, if she has it, but she's dead, that doesn't help us at all. Well, I'm saying that while she's still at 29 health, you can use it. Oh. Uh, on her, on yourself. Oh, right, I can hit B and go back, so... Use the goods! Uh... Oh, God. Yeah, here, eat this... Sit down in the middle of this fight and eat this picnic lunch. What is her, her revive power? Is it just called revive? Oh, never Shit. mind. It is no longer relevant. Yeah, i that. Uh, Pop! Guys! Guys! With all your advanced alien technology, you couldn't come up with a better sound effect. <laughs> Seriously, just just change it out for the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> In regards to the dumb thing we were talking about before, I, uh, this is when you were talking about the spider thing, I just started imagining other movie quotes with that instead. Like, if in, uh, <laughs> Planet of the Apes, Get your damn dirty spiders off me! <laughs> oh, dang it. Uh, oh, I think I can drop a couple life noodles on her? Use on Naomi. Hooray! You know what I always found really, really endearing? Oh my god! Are those pool toys that they call noodles. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Is that his foot? Is I... he walking forward? Is that why... Oh, that's not a no foot. Way... I think you know what that is. He's, uh... He's a cod face. Yep. He's feeling pretty good about whatever's going on around here. Looks like you can Wait, enter, looks like... but it's locked. In... In enter from, like, the mouth, right? I, I think you gotta right. go into the butt. Uh... Ugh, you have to fight a million more octahedrons. That, that is certainly not an octahedron. On the, in the overworld, it is. Oh, is that what... Oh, okay, that's what makes... Yeah. yeah. Dying How do you know that's not a... A six-sided... Sexahedron? <laughs> because I am the only sexahedron in this town, baby. Uh, I mean, you, uh. you only see four sides of it. It can only have two sides on the other side. What if it had no sides on the other side? Then it'd be a tetrahedron. And oh. this whole conversation... Actually, wait, no, it would be a... It'd be a five-ahedron. Pentahedron. No, I'm saying, I'm saying it literally had zero sides on the other side. It's just kind of... Mobius strip bullshit going on on the other side. 
Wait, you're saying it's only a one-dimensional figure? I choose to believe that, yes. It has no other direction. <laughs> it's like those sprites you see in video games that rotate with you, because they just don't have another side. Oh, yeah, like fire. Yeah. Like when, that happens a lot with fire. Classic video game fire. Uh, uh, video game bushes are often like that, too. The enemies in Doom were like that. Yeah. Where they were always looking at you no matter which way you were going. Which so, really isn't fair, you know? Like, you have to turn. They don't have to turn. They had, um, backs and sides as well. Like, sometimes, uh, an enemy would move, like, perpendicular to you and you'd see it from the side or from the butt. Oh, that's true. When they were still alive, it worked. But, but when they died, they were <laughs> There's only one view of the corpse. Yeah. I remember that now. Oh, man, Doom. I watched some videos the other day of a, uh, I think it's like, it's like a, it appears to be a three-dimensional Doom, but everything is still sprites and stuff, but it's called Brutal Doom, and it looks kind of badass. But they've added, like, physics to it. A three-dimensional, I mean, Doom was three-dimensional. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, know. it's got mouse look. So you can look up and down, you oh. actually have to aim your gun at stuff, but, like, oh, everything is still heavy. sprites. It's, that it looks would be real incredibly weird. hard. Yeah. <laughs> no more rockets just going up in the air because it's like, well, it turns out this map is actually kind of two-dimensional. Uh, I need to heal Romsey. Wasn't Doom 3 that 3D one? Yeah. The one that was made rather recently? Yeah. It's made in like 2000. Five or something. That game came out around the time I went to college. I guess we went to college yeah. at the same time as we graduated. So, yeah, 2003 so or 4? Yeah. Yeah, maybe 2004 or 05, probably. Actually, I got I to a point. Really, never played it. I mean, yeah. whatever. I played it for a little while. I remember at one point I was, uh, I was into that game for about a week, and I was playing it as I was like shouting at the monsters as I was destroying them. And some girl walked by my room and like looked in my door, and she was like, "You're an idiot." I was like, "Whatever, man." I'm trash talking the crazy demons from space hell. Uh, it, when people do stuff like that, I am just just totally taken aback. You what? know, like uh, why did, why would why would you if you really thought that why would you even take the time? to tell me. I don't know if she was upset about it and was like, you're an idiot or an asshole. She's just like, yo, you're stupid. I know, but like, why would you even, why would you even say that? I call you stupid all the time. It's fun. Yeah, but we're, but, but we're like, having a, a sustained conversation going. It's not like that's the, the extent of it. Huh. Would you walk up to a complete stranger that you thought was doing something stupid just to tell him he was stupid? I guess not. Well, I mean, no, because uh, God of talking not, to strangers. There's no, but there's well, there's no purpose in doing that. Yeah. Especially since you weren't like harming her in any way. If she was like trying to go to sleep or something. That makes sense. Like that time, <laughs> freshman year of college, uh, was when I was really into Dance Dance Revolution. Oh God! And I was I would I would play it, you know, all, all night. And at one point, like during exams, my uh, the the guy in the room next to me just came by and was like, Andy, you have to stop <laughs> playing Dance Dance Revolution. It's like midnight, and we all have exams. And I, I said, certainly, and yeah. I stopped, and that was that. But, <laughs> I mean, it's like... <laughs> like exams in college mean anything. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've had, like, maybe one or two exams that I've ever really had to study for as an undergrad. Do you have exams in graduate school? Is that a thing? Or is it all projects? We, we've had one exam in graduate school. Mm. So far. 
and and it was really hard. I we we had to study quite a bit more. It was actually really funny though. Uh, when we got uh we got there to take the exam, and he gave he passed it out, and we took the entire test, and you know took the entire class period and and did it. You know, then at the end of the at the end of class, he's like, oh wait. I forgot to pass out the other two pages of the exam. Are you serious? Yeah. So it's like, wait a minute. It took me all class to do page one, and there were two <laughs> others? That's awesome. Of course, he, he didn't, he only graded when he gave us, but, you know, it was like, I don't know, he might have just been fucking with us, I don't know. Yeah, that, that sounds like some impossible well, I mean, he, he, he did have two other pages. He passed them out and was like, well, if you want to answer any of the questions on these pages, it's extra credit. What the hell? What the hell was that? You got inside there for a minute. For some reason, I was expelled immediately. It's a girl saucer. Yeah. It's Miss Saucer. Seen any girl I think we've seen, we seen? seen that specific saucer once before. Now... Given that they have both boy and girl saucers in this desert world, I feel like they should produce even littler saucers. <laughs> baby saucers. A swarm of baby saucers. Micro saucers. Maybe they are, but they're so small you just can't see them. Oh god, this place is generating an unspeakable... Oh god. Baxter. I want you inside of me. No, I won't do it. Andrew, if a woman ever says this, just like, matter-of-factly, you are inside my body. First of all, <laughs> stop being inside her body, and then leave as quickly as possible. It's like an android. You are inside my body. <laughs> this is the worst love bot ever. Rick Road. Whoa, listen to this music. Oh! This is primitive dubstep. <laughs> oh no! Oh, not these guys again. The coffee is still that blood color. <laughs> it's the coffee that, uh, Klingons drink. Oh no! Blood coffee. Everything in their entire society is just unnecessarily horrible. It's like, can't you assholes just eat a steak and shut up? Pop. Oh. Great. Six experience. And yeah, I don't like the Klingon episodes. I thought that one where where he goes, he finds, like, where his family ended up or whatever, or, like, his dad, and they're on that, that planet with, like, the, the Romulans... Just chillin' in, like, a prison camp? Wait, that happens? Yeah. What? I don't remember that one. But I thought Worf's parents died. Like, they've been dead this whole... And he was raised by humans. I, I think it was... It's that there, there were, like, survivors from the attack that killed his parents. And they ended up on, uh... They ended up on this planet where, like, in this, this basically, it's like a pri For God's sake, you can't do that. That's just unaccept. Oh my God, Ooh. what the hell is that? Yeah, it's one. It's a bottle <laughs> of. Uh, <laughs> what's that drink? That's like a uh, palm. Yeah, the, the palm. pomegranate juice. Yeah. First of all, that stuff is straight delicious. <laughs> I made pomegranate syrup one time. Oh man, I bet that was incredible. I put it on, uh, I, I made this thing. Have I ever made this for you? Where you bo boil the pears in, like, juice or wine or something and make a syrup out of it and then pour it back over the pears. And then you put a little bit of mascarpone on the side. No, that sounds incredible. It's delicious. I'll make it for you sometime. The next time we're in the same state. <laughs> Which, I really do think we should go to PAX. Yeah. Not, not, maybe not this year, but the year after next. Two, seven, eight, six, two. 
Ching ching. Yeah, it's just gonna take twenty seven thousand dollars out of this vending machine. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna get out, out twenty seven uh, G's. ATM machine. I'm vending machine. It just has <laughs> money in the little like, rings. Insert one dollar and fifty cents to receive one dollar. <laughs> Ugh. Ain't nobody got time for this. I wonder... That, that'd be a good, like, uh, jackass uh, prank or something. From that show Jackass. Yeah. So. Like, they could set up a vending machine that just had money in it, and they could see how long it takes before someone tips it over. Before someone just comes and tries to bust it open. Yeah. I want to go to a gun store that has... This is like, they do this in Borderlands, kind of, but, uh... Like, I, w I want to go to a gun store that just has ammunition in a vending machine. Just buy, like, ten rounds of 9mm for, like, a dollar or two. And it's like a little, little what? like, sealed plastic thing. What if it were, like, a gumball machine? And it just has <laughs> in individual rounds. <laughs> no, the rule, it's, it, it's the plastic eggs, you just don't know what you're gonna get. You just put in, like, yeah. <laughs> 15 cents. <laughs> get a cartridge out. Oh, man, I got a 45.70. And they use that as, like, a trick. It's like, hey, man, don't know what you're looking for? Get a cartridge. Maybe you'll see something you like in that caliber. This is you like you buy the cartridge and you walk up to the desk and you're like, give me whatever fires this. <laughs> that be that that seems like it might be a fun way to do like a competition if you had like a bunch of like house guns at a competition. It's like you now you have to run this course with the 38 because you drew the 38 out of the pile, or in this case out of the. Uh, egg machine. That'd be interesting. Yeah. God, we're gonna find or, a coffee or, cup. Oh, no. Like, maybe, uh, you, you get, uh, like, bonuses to your score, uh, depending on how good a, a gun you actually get. Like, if you get a rifle, it's less of a bonus than if you have a pistol. That's, that actually sounds kind of cool. We have to get to the four ropes. Oh! Oh, what have I done? I've been a fool, Andrew. Record this cup of coffee. There's way more liquid in that than <laughs> in that cup. Yeah, it's a problem. Also, that cup is tilted. You know? You, you're, you would... You would be limited by the angle of the orifice in that cup. Oh god. How much liquid you can actually put in it. This is not gonna go well. Yeah, of course. Ugh, why does he do so much damage even though they can like one shot all of them? But yeah, that sounds like a like a like a hilarious way to do a competition. It's like you sort of draw straws, and whoever gets the sucky one gets a handicap for that I, mean, I feel like that that would, you know, I don't care anything about, you know, the, the competition value of things like, like the Olympics, you know? Yeah. Where it's like everybody has to run the exact same, you know, track or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's like th you have to throw more wrenches in the mix to, <laughs> to make it more interesting. You know, put like, like make make one guy carry weights and the other guy <laughs> has a has like a hang glider or something. I don't know. You know, it's make mix it up. What if you had some kind I think of there bidding be... system where it's like, I you, you can choose to deliberately handicap yourself in exchange for like more prizes. Like, hey, yeah. I bet I can still beat you with fifty like a fifty pound flour sack on my back. So, that, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Or, I mean, if, 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 like, like I said before, if you just, like, increase, you got bonuses to your score at the end if you apply more handicaps. Yeah. You know? Like, maybe you're, you're, you're able to run really well with heavy objects, and it, maybe it doesn't impede you as much as it would someone else. Yeah. 
video games do that sometimes. Yeah. You know, you get like a uh, like uh, in FTL when you play it on the harder difficulty. It's just like well, you get less uh, uh, scrap, and that's that handicap is what makes it <laughs> normal instead of easy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Super Bowl of hard mode football. No one's allowed to wear pads. <laughs> Oh, that person had five I think had there should be busting. a sport. There should be a sport where you just line up a bunch of guys on two sides of a field, and there's a ball in the middle, and who you just have to get the ball to the other side by any means necessary. <laughs> like, there are no rules. There is no out-of-bounds. There is no off-sides. It's just... <laughs> You, when the, after the whistle is blown, you get that ball to the other side. <laughs> it's like ultimate football. Yeah. You know? And people, people in the crowd can throw things like folding chairs onto the field. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Throw, like, lame armaments onto the field. Like, you know, of a, a, like a conference table. So get four dues to pick up that conference table and charge. I mean, if you wanted to, you could bring, like, a bunch of jacks and just, like, <laughs> throw them out so people step on them. Oh, yeah, also, everyone is completely naked. Yeah, I, I figured that's what was going to come after that. I was like, what the hell there's is going on over there? There's a cab in this case. Oh, there's a submarine. A yellow submarine. Yes. How do we get in up In which we all live. We... I'll live on a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Uh, who is we? The Beatles. I can be a Beatle if I want, Andy. Sh shut up. Shut up! Sing. Just give me your audition. Sing um, me. Sing Love Me Do. I don't know the words to that. I'm an old school love, Beatle. Love me do. You know I love you, I'll always be true, so please... I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a Beatle, so I can't sing it very well, but you're the one. Ah! You're not a Beatle. You're a, a <laughs> butterfly. Oh. Some other sort of insect. How, how beautiful a butterfly am I? Uh, are you alluding to something else? No, no. I just want to know. Oh. Tell me I'm pretty. How does that song from Dance Dance Revolution about butterfly go? I, 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 I'm a little butterfly. Yeah. That the colors in the sky. What? <laughs> this guy's getting philosophical on the shitter. This is a very existential doorway. I'm not interested in it. <laughs> Man, you're making me nervous, shitter guy. That's the worst name How's in the that, world. That, that plant's not getting any sunlight. It's, it's a dungeon, man. Dungeon rules. <laughs> it's like, what sort of wily coyote logic is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, running on 100% pure Acme fuel. Open that package. Yay! That actually was a that's useful, useful item. Yeah. That's... By the way, we're probably in about 30 minutes now. Okay. I want to I no. get to those ropes. I know how to get to them now. Yeah. 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 You're on the ropes. I am the ropes. Do that thing where you run up against the ropes, and the ropes slingshot you off, and then you, like, elbow the other guy in the face. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, totally. I, I, I know from wrestling, dude. What's that, what's, up. what's that called? What's that move called? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, like, it's a rope. There's probably some generic term for, like, using the ropes as assistance for something, but I don't know it. It's, it'd probably just be like a elbow clothesline or something. You like 
hurl yourself into the dude. What? You ever watch wrestling when you were little? A couple of times, sure. I was I was big into it in like toward the very end of elementary school and like the beginning of middle school for like two years. That's that's about the time I I I what, I was in like the sixth grade I think when uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin was the uh, the be all end all of yeah. wrestling. It's also when like uh, Goldberg was just getting going. He was in the WCW, I think. That was back. That was back when it was still WWF. Yeah, the WWF and the WCW. Um. Why did Why did the World Wildlife Foundation get to be the ones that kept that? Yeah, fuck the World Wildlife Foundation. I mean, like, why Why did Was there some sort of deal in place where? Did they have it first or something? Maybe. I I gotta expect the World Wildlife Foundation probably got a pretty early start. People are into wildlife. I don't know. Oh, it's true. Probably not, er probably not earlier than, like, 1905. Was that when wrestling became a thing? No, but oh. I'm just saying that's that's when all those, uh, like, uh, like Yellowstone and National Parks and stuff started. Alright, we gotta make a decision when, here. When preserving nature became something on America's agenda. No, not that one. Go down. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. We're in hell, Andrew. Yes, you have entered the second floor of my body. I've just about had it with this music. I just actually noticed it again, right before you said that. I've had it with these, uh, <sighs> fly Flying Diamonds. That's my new band name. Oh my flying god. Flying Diamonds. We've, this... we've seen that before. Have we? That was a boss. Oh, they're called... They called them Lesser Mook. I'm gonna burn them. Turn the spy on Lesser Mook Bravo. Ugh, take it. Blah! Oh god, they knew real spells. I think one spells. of the, uh, one of the real issues with this game is, is the lack of depth in the combat. Yeah, there's not if really the a whole lot were, going on. If the combat were a little deeper, I feel like it would, it would, you know, speak volumes for the rest of the game. At its current depth, the best this combat can do is cause me to fall and twist my ankle. Yeah, you want you want the combat to be deep enough to break a leg in. <laughs> I just don't read any more of these signs. They're all gross and not helpful. Huh. Oh. Huh. Why don't you make a sign out of that? <laughs> because why the hell not? Is this where all the, f the game gets its reputation for being funny? Because this isn't funny, this just sucks. Oh. Pizza inside, huh? But nobody cared. Hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you think, buddy. <laughs> the game has to tell us it's fun. <laughs> You're having Just a remember, great time. Yeah. You love this game. Ooh, a side caramel. We actually do we could actually use that. La 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 la. Uh, I love this game, and these aren't the droids I'm looking for. <laughs> Republic credits will do fine, as it happens. Uh, why wouldn't Republic credits do fine? Uh, because that dude lives on Tatooine where nobody gives a shit. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, he's, 
you have to imagine that Republic credits will do great in the Republic. Yeah. And surely he will find a way to dispose of those Republic credits at a good value. For that matter, just like go somewhere and find a money changer. I think a dump like Tatooine doesn't have a money changer who's willing to charge you an exorbitant rate. Come on. Come on, Qui-Gon I mean, Jinn. They essentially have all the Republic credits, right? Yeah. Because they have the Queen on board. The, yeah, they, they have like a lady who runs a country. Surely they can get some credit. We're, we're complaining about a movie that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I'm getting tired of these movies family. not making any sense. Fill her up! <laughs> With a whole lot of nothing makes sense. <laughs> <sighs> I, we, we, we quote that guy too much. Yeah, we do. It's doing that. <laughs> unfavorable comparisons for everybody. Good job, finally made it. Oh, God. Ugh. It's that dude. Remember that butt face dude that we encountered uh, a while uh, ago? Uh, 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 that thing is talking! <laughs> Dr. N Donuts finally. Oh god. <laughs> finally made me a dungeon man. Made a dungeon man of me, he did. He's the DM. <laughs> oh, don't oh. go in the return hole! <laughs> just, just jump in the return hole. No! I'm feeling real just not good at all about the return hole. <laughs> I'm not putting any part of my body in this guy's return hole, Andy. What? Oh, you just... The sign apparently will disappear when you're ready. Yeah. You will learn to overcome knee high obstacles. <laughs> Oop. We can actually use that as well. Why aren't you using that constantly? What? IQ caps. Okay. Let me go on an extended soliloquy about <laughs> these capsules. Permit me a brief digression on Nail these capsules. Put... <laughs> what a bizarre thing. Uh, I need to throw something away. Whatever, I'm just gonna drop this towel. Teach me your secrets, IQ capsule. This uh, this doesn't seem to be a an, uh, a damaging desert like the other one. Yeah, for some reason we just never got. Maybe it's because uh, there's no place to buy uh, wet towels here. Oh, mouths. We out. Isn't this isn't this the same way you came in? Yeah, but now now this is happening. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Just check that out. It's, he's That's just... next in line before the bear. <laughs> yeah, bring it. Is he going to fight with you? He better. He better put a drop a hot bomb on one of these things. What? He's a whole dungeon man. Yeah. That's stupid. He ought to fight with you. He ought to fight with you, and he ought to Wait, Dungeon Man attacks! He missed. Uh, oh, it's just, you're not in direct control of him. Yeah. He's like the bear. You have your psychic tendrils and all these other people, <laughs> but not the Dungeon Man. You can't control the Dungeon Man. The Dungeon Man controls you. <laughs> the Dungeon Man gave that UFO a great big hug. <coughs> Blah! Hmm?
Yeah, right? Yeah, so cough a minute. Well, don't have a cough button on this mic. Yeah. You can't. Ugh. Donuts man, you're so huge and fat. I mean, Dungeon Man. <laughs> <laughs> What are we supposed to do with this huge fat ass now? Ask him. Say, hey, fat ass. Ugh! Where to fight that... thing. God. Uh, like... Don't you have, like, a ring of evasion or something? That you can put on and you don't get in any battles? That would rule, but no. For Christ's sake, that's not even fair. It's obscured. He's obscured by the dungeon man's huge lard ass. Yeah, take it. Punk ass. Stealing my protein drink. This game doesn't trade in fairness. <laughs> Little cotton to that kind of bullcrap. So where are you taking this dungeon man? I don't know. Does he want to be a dungeon man? Uh, he doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Uh, he mentioned being from... from Winners, so... Oh my god! <laughs> Piss off. I wonder what happens if we try Winters... to take him indoors. Winters is where we got, uh, Rob Z, right? Yeah. He mentioned being from there. I remember that guy. Yeah. Remember that, that dude with the butt face? Yeah. I mean, we noted it when we encountered him before. Yeah. Like, what's up with your butt face? Yeah. Why do you have an ass for a mouth? What? What? Holy double dick nasal ass eruption. <laughs> I've got two dicks coming out of my nose. My nose is coming out of my ass. And my ass is in the middle of my face. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, crap. I'll just leave, leave you to stew on that for a while. Okay. I don't feel good about it. Shoot. Well, you want to call it here and and figure out where to take him next time? Yeah. Let's uh, let's put a wet towel on Naomi's head and then bounce. Or let's let's get to a place just where we'll be safe. And I think we can teleport to Summers. So goods. Uh, show me a wet towel. Can you even, can you even get back to Winters? Do we even know the way there? I can teleport there. Oh. We'll try it. If you can just teleport there, just, just try that. Alright, let's do it. And, uh, and, so... w w when you, when you get there, if he doesn't immediately, Crap. like, trigger something, then... We can't teleport with the Dungeon Man, either. We gotta find something to, to do with him here. Doing with this idiot? Can you take him in back into the pyramid? Uh, no, it's a. Oh! <laughs> ah! No! I have trees! <laughs> uh. Cool. That's it? I guess. Just. just that's that, then. Yep. You can't get past those two oh. palm trees. <laughs> so he knows about the monsters. Yeah. So apparently it's a so stupid it's idea. Not... What? So it's not just me? Like, you, all you other guys see the monsters too? <laughs> like, you, you have to deal with the same shit that I'm dealing with? Constant little saucer attacks. Yeah, what, why else does, would he have that spear? Should we cross the river even though we know it's a stupid idea? Uh, I think you know the answer to that question. Yeah, of course. We're also getting our picture taken by this weird pedophile all the time, so of course, of course I want to go to the deep darkness. Oh. That shutter speed's gonna have to be pretty hot, pretty low. He wants to photograph us in the deep darkness. Oh my god, that's not even fair! 
It's as fair as it needs to be. This game can eat this the most incredibly unpleasant part of my butt. Which is, I guess, all of it. Because, gross. It's a distinction I'm not willing to go into. <laughs> I, thank you for not going into my butt. Uh, I'm ready to end this episode. Yeah, I've had it. Fuck this place. We're, I mean, we're, we're just having... Now we're discussing your butt. I mean, <laughs> we've obviously gone well past our... our in it. In it. Now. Stop. Now. You can't see me doing these hand motions like... <laughs> Winding up for a... Now. Point. And go. And stop. Proceed. Cut. Ready and steady and... Yep. How about in... Oh my god, I hate you so much, Touch the Man. <laughs> it just never ends. Nobody cares, worthless protoplasm. Are there other, like, more valuable protoplasms? I hope so. It's pretty important. We're gonna find a golden protoplasm. Sure. Okay. This is... It's, it's nappy time. Hit sack. Calling it. We're gonna have to go find this dude's rare vehicle collection or whatever inside his filthy dungeon body. We already found it. It was a submarine and a taxi cab and... Yeah, but we gotta get up there. Uh, so why didn't we get up there in the first place? Because there were there are four ropes to the top of this area, and we went up oh, the we, one that went we all the way to his one. head. Yeah, we we, yeah. we took the one to his goodbye hole or whatever, which was just just disastrous. Okay, well, so write that down. Ignore those mushrooms, and let's call it here. All right. I'm so, oh. Oh, well there it is. I remember that that uh, pod. Didn't we didn't we use a pod like that at one point? I think so. There's also There's like a, a taxi in. car and a bicycle. This is these are rare this is your idea of rare vehicles? <laughs> bicycle and taxi cab, huh? Ugh. It's... Don't, don't tell me it's not fair. It is fair. It's... P fighting battles is part of the game. No, I, mean, I was gonna say it's not fair. I'm just gonna say it sucks. Well, yeah. <laughs> but we're doing this to ourselves by playing... Oh! By the way, I'm glad I'm... I, I said I needed to remember this before and just now remembered that Earthbound is coming to the Wii U! Hey! Yeah, so pretty soon you too, good viewer, can experience will be the able magic. to <laughs> and the pageantry <laughs> of Earthbound. Become one with the spittle flecked rage as you're killed again and again by a cup of coffee. <laughs> Well, you've all, there's only one that you haven't tried now, right? Uh, it's this one and the far right one are the two we haven't done yet. Oh, well, there you go. Thanks, buddy. Are there skulls at the top of the rope? Maybe we have to use the, the, the special goodbye hole or whatever. Maybe we really do just need to get to the top of him again. Yeah, we totally do. You have a strong-looking body. Wouldn't you like to work in my dungeons? Like, okay, Hans, come on, just <clears throat> back off. Because you're gross. You're super gross. Andrew, I literally can't stop playing this game. This controller has been surgically grafted into my hand. 
gonna do it. I've been playing a game recently. Oh? It's called Super Metroid. Ooh! It's classic. Really good. Yeah, I'm playing it again. It's been... It's probably been... What? Three years since I've been through it, so... It's about time again for another run. Yeah, it's just one of those... Those, those games you go back to. I mean, I don't remember the solutions to anything, so... That's that. I just beat, uh, last night I beat the, um, the green dinosaur that shoots things out of its stomach. Uh, Kraid, I think is his name. But I could be wrong. Now I'm in the, uh, uh, lava world. When you have to get the heat suit for? I got the heat suit. Nice. Oh. I keep, I keep dying on, uh, what was it? I keep... Oh, I can't remember now. But it's like it's like a bunch of those little X things that jump around really fast. And... Oh god, fuck those things. Uh, I think it helps to have. Do you have the freeze beam? No, I think that's a much later game oh. thing. Freeze beam does those things real rotten. I mean, I'm still more or less in the beginning of the game. You know, I've only yeah, been yeah. playing a little while. Uh, frame rate. And we need to end this. I want to get to the <coughs> rare goodbye hole collection. Yeah. I know. Oh. It. It's always in the goodbye how did, hole. How did that happen? I don't know. I mean, what? Did you, did you even know that? What triggered that? I just assumed that because all the other ropes were like. Yeah, see? Now we're on. This thing with all this mm. friggin' bullshit. Now you don't even have to ignore those mushrooms. Yeah. You can pay all the attention to those mushrooms that you want. Oh, mushrooms. You, woman, put on this pig nose. No truffles. Fuck it, we're out. Talk to that monolith. What? Monolith right there. If you touch it, you become super smart. I'm, I'm gonna touch this taxi cab instead. You learn how to use bones as clubs. Beat. What are those things called? Tapers. Oh, they're like monkey kinds? I don't those know. Like pi those, those like pig things that at the beginning of 2001. Weren't they like apes? They were. Well, yeah, there were apes, but there were, like, pig things that they they learned how to kill with the, the bones. Oh, I thought they just started fighting or something. It's been a long time since I saw that movie. No, and, well, I mean, yeah, they're, like, they're tapers. That's what that, that thing is called. Okay. That pig thing. How did we... Well... Oh, that's pretty cool. Not. <laughs> Tessie, save us from this blue nightmare. 